a family in chaos, disorganized to the rafters and fighting over clutter. How will they find harmony again? A couple sensitive to the environment, but living in an energy-wasting black hole. How can they transform their home into a peaceful green space? I'm Alexi Panos. I love working as a model and TV host, but when I'm not here on set, I live a completely different life. We are turning extreme situations into extraordinary results. Our mission is to innovate, renovate, and elevate the lives of people in need. This is Operation Build. This house is a disorganized mess, but I am worried. It's getting worse than just clutter. Robbie, I told you to clean up this mess. I am not doing it for you again. Mom, I don't have any time. Nancy. It's starting to affect our whole family in a very negative way. I know that shirt's in here somewhere. Uh, whatever, I'll just wear this one. Nancy! Will you please do something about this mess? I can't find anything in this refrigerator. It would help if you would put something back where it belongs. Maybe just once? Where's my mustard? Nancy, Leonard, and Robbie have lived in this West Boca Raton home for eight years. Like every busy family, they've accumulated lots of stuff over time. And cleaning and organizing the house has always fallen mostly to Nancy. I've enabled them, it's true. I, for most of our marriage, I've been the person who stayed home, took care of the house and our son. But things changed recently when Nancy's mom fell ill. Now, she's got two families to care for. Dad isn't really able to take care of her, and barely himself. Yeah, I'm glad I could be there for both of them, but it pains me to see how cluttered my own house has become. There's nowhere to put anything. You know, and we never really had a, a system to organize things. It just gets out of control. Nancy's husband, Leonard, is a typical type A personality. He works long hours, travels a lot, and when he gets home, he's not often in the mood to help with the housekeeping and cooking. I want to help more, but I cook a lot of meals on my own. And at the same time, I'm kind of useless in the kitchen. I'm not the neatest guy around. Robbie is a typical teenager, leaving a trail of clothes, shoes, and junk in his wake. I don't really care if my room is super clean all the time. I mean, sometimes it can be kind of hard to find things in here. I bought a shirt the other day, you know, and I haven't even seen it since. The truth is, and this is hard for me to admit to myself, it deeply bothers me that my house is such a mess, but I can't keep up with everything. It's just too, too much. This is the perfect mission for Operation Build. We're gonna help this family organize their lives and get back on track. Nancy's invited us to her home to see what can be done. I'm bringing along Amy Kuhn, an expert in organization from a company called Interdesign. Hello. Hello. Hi, Alexi, it's great Good to see you Great to see you, see you too, Nancy. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our messy home. Thank you. So uh, let's see what we're working with today. All right, let's right do this it. way. <laughs> So this is the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> this right. is a perfect example of how disorganized we are as a family. See. There's just stuff scattered all over the countertops. And um, OK, the pantry is quite a mess. OK. <laughs> Not too bad. Uh, and um, gosh, OK, I hate to even show you this. Uh -oh. But uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, here goes our oh. fridge. Okay, well, you know what? It's not so bad. I think we actually have some great storage solutions for you. Oh, good news. Great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, let's move on to the master bath. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do see it. it. Mm -hmm. 
I keep the master bedroom picked up, but here is the real problem. Yes. It seems like we never put things back after we take them out. I have definitely noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're gonna reorganize, I think you and I can add some small details to spruce it up a bit too. Absolutely, and I think I have exactly the right items in mind. Fantastic. This is the disaster area known as Robbie's room. Oh yes. <laughs> I should really put a sign, warning sign on the door. Uh, this must be the infamous closet we've been hearing about. Yes, that looks like a tough one. But don't worry, Nancy, we've got some great ideas for you. Great. Well, that was the worst of it. And now that you've seen it, I hate to even ask this question, but are we hoarders or just terribly disorganized? Even in ancient times, households had storage problems. Furniture wasn't common, so shelves and cubby holes were built directly into walls to store precious family possessions. After looking around Nancy's home, we saw firsthand the clutter problem she told us about. But she surprised us with a question. Are we hoarders or just terribly disorganized? Well, from what I can see, Nancy, no. You guys are not hoarders. That's a serious psychological problem. It really only affects about 5% of the population. True, but even if you guys haven't made it that far, Having disorganization and clutter in the home is super stressful. I know for you in particular, and especially your family, you just never quite feel comfortable at home. No, you are so right. I, mean, I, I just can't feel good when I have all this stuff around me. That's a very common problem. Yeah. yeah, but the good news is you are ready and willing to change that. And we are here to help, and we're gonna start right here in this kitchen. That is great, because this is really my problem spot. I mean, we're all cooking and eating at different times, and, and, and there's just stuff everywhere, and nobody puts anything back in the same place <laughs> twice. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get started with the refrigerator. You take a break, and we'll get to work. Oh, great, <laughs> thanks. Okay. Here we go. We'll start with these refrigerator organizers. We'll mostly use bins, some of them stackable, including this awesome egg saver and wine rack. This is the wine holder, which is perfect for inside the fridge. You slide your wine in there, you can stack the bins on top of each other and stack the wine up inside the refrigerator. Love it's that. a great space saver. Also, these fridge bins are just great for anything from produce to fruit and can save room in your refrigerator. In the pantry, now there's a place for everything and everything is easy to find. We'll neaten up the countertops with all kinds of clear containers so the family can see what's what. And then finally, our spice rack, which is perfect for the countertop. It keeps the spices readily available for when you're cooking. The master bath is a beautiful space, but I think we can make it a lot neater and user-friendly. You know what I love about this space is that we actually have space to work with. Countertops, drawers, cabinets, and that's why I brought you in here because you are the queen of organizing this stuff. Absolutely, and that's what's so great about Inner Design's products is that they have solutions to meet all of those needs. Okay. Like this countertop organizer, it's perfect. It has drawers to hold some of those small items that are here on the countertop, as well as a great organizer for cosmetics on top. Excellent. And it's stackable. You've got two great products here. Fantastic. We're going to spruce things up with all kinds of organizers, including a nifty hair dryer caddy, drawer organizers, and undercounter bins. All right, so now on to the most dreaded part of our mission, Robbie's closet. Yes. Robbie's closet and desk are disaster zones, but we'll organize him with desk drawers, lots of stackable clothes and shoe boxes, even a belt and tie hanger. So now, everywhere you look, all of your things have their own place. What do you think? I think I can get dressed for school without spending an hour looking for clothes. 
That is awesome. <laughs> All right, so we have a ton of new systems in place that only work if you work with it. So boys, mom's gonna need your help to keep this place clean and clutter free. Can you promise her that? Promise, definitely. And now I can make a snack without having to bug Nancy where everything is. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a real fresh start for this family. Mission accomplished. Mead, Colorado. Population 3,045. Doesn't have a stoplight, but it has a motto. A little town with a big future. It's a frontier town. Founded in 1906, back when solar energy simply meant building your house to take advantage of the sun's warmth. Today's high-tech solar systems can generate clean, limitless power for homes like these. And it's helping our country reduce its reliance on fossil fuels. But for homeowners like Ron and Michelle Beaver, who have lived in this quiet neighborhood for 14 years, there were more considerations. So what brought you here to Mead, Colorado? The, the area, the fact we have acreage, mm -hmm. uh, the openness, and he built the house, so. Oh, you it was, did? Uh, I did, it took a while. But wow. We came here from California, and I promised her if we moved back here, I'd build her house, so I did. That's great, yeah, the area driving in, I mean, it's such a quaint area. I personally, like being from a city, I love seeing all the open space. It's open. Oh, I love the horses and the cows, it's just, it's brilliant. Operation Build is always looking for ways to help people live greener lifestyles. Today, using solar energy to power your home is a great place to start, but there's such a wide array of choices and every home is different. So things can be a little confusing. We're here in Mead, a half hour drive north of Denver, to find out how Ron and Michelle settled on the system we're installing today. They've looked long and hard to find the best solar system available for their home that they can also afford. I'm bringing along a team from Dow Solar. Josh Wimble, who can explain how different systems work. Rendon Hunt, who can talk about financing. And Jim Keenahan. He's an inventor who actually works on developing solar systems. He's gonna join us later to show me how these solar units are put together in a very hands-on way. So let's talk about solar. It's a big choice, it's a big investment. Why did you guys decide to do it now? Uh, the energy that we're gonna produce ourselves. It was the durability of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Plus I like the incentives we get back for the tax breaks. Mm -hmm. And it's it just made sense to go ahead and do the whole roof. Great, so had you ever considered solar energy before? No, not because of the big, I hate to say it, big ugly panels that normally go up on your roof or mounted to pulse out in your yard. And, I didn't want that to be put on my house. We'll wait to see what it is, but they say it's gonna be very, very good. Perfect, I know uh, Jim has promised that I can get up and help out as well, so. Yeah, it's really cool because you know you can actually stand on it. Uh, a lot of people ask if it's you know something like a traditional roofing material, if it's really fragile. It actually has all the same building certifications that you'd expect of a roofing product. Yeah, I think that's great. And I love that the product's made in the States. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Right. That's what I like. You like that too? Yes, made in the USA. It's so rare to hear these days, right? I heard that, I'm like, really? That's so great? Yeah, we actually, um, right there in Michigan, we have everything is assembled by the actual uh, American workers that's at our headquarters. They're assembled and shipped out directly from there to the roofer here who brings them out to your house. And then the entire process, while you work with the roofers to have this installed, it's a pretty quick process. Making electricity from solar energy became a reality in the 1950s. Today, solar is an integral and cost-effective way to power homes, 
office buildings, and even cars. Ron and Michelle Bieber have wanted to install solar panels on their roof for years, but they didn't want a conventional solar system because of the way they look and the cost. Many homeowners qualify for financial assistance to install a solar system. I chatted with Rendon Hunt to find out more. All right, so one of the biggest concerns is the cost effectiveness of this. Let's talk about that, because I know as a consumer, I'm really interested in the benefits of solar energy, Absolutely. but it seems so out of my price yeah. range. Well, a couple of things that people don't realize in the solar market is that there's some fantastic incentives for you. Mm -hmm. So there's a 30% federal tax incentive that's ongoing right now. And then you also have individual local incentives that you need to look into. And then, of course, the best part of this product is the fact that we're creating energy for you. Of we're course. generating that energy. We're cutting your electric bill. So that upfront cost certainly ends up paying itself back and much more when you move forward. Yeah, now that's something I'm interested in, too. About how long does it take for the investment to pay itself off? Absolutely. It's, it's a different market market to market, a lot of it is pending on the different types of incentives that you have, mm -hmm. whether it be uh, state incentives or local incentives. I've seen paybacks that were as soon as two years. Wow. I've seen them as long as 12 years. So mm -hmm. it really depends market to market. What happens if I move? If you move, you can actually, you'll get more value out of your house based off of having that solar. Uh -huh. So we've had some research reports that have been done that have really shown the value of your house increasing and appreciating as a result of having solar on your home. That's great. So added home value in the process. Without a doubt. That's fantastic. Dow Powerhouse Solar Shingles are the perfect solution for Ron and Michelle. Jim Keenahan is going to get up on the roof with me to show me exactly how they're installed. Jim, how's it going? Like it. Looks like uh, your boys are getting things done pretty well. Yeah, quickly. they're doing a good job. Yeah, so tell me what's been happening. Well, we've got the underlayment on the roof. Yeah. And the starter course is the shingles. Great. And we're ready to start putting some solar. Yes. Does that mean I actually get to get up and help? You bet. Perfect. I'm going to go prepare myself, and you prepare yourself to witness the magic on the roof, OK? Jim, so how do we do this? Okay, so this is the solar shingle itself right yeah. here. Okay. And uh, so the first flat. thing, yeah. So the first thing you'll notice about it is what's different about this from a panel yeah. is you don't see any wires. Yeah. So this is meant to go on the roof by a roofer. Okay. We have the electrician working on the inverters and everything like that, but the roof can be done by the roofer and the electrical work can be done by the electrician down below. Nice. So yeah. each one of these will tie in together without them handling any wires. Yeah. And then when they go through the roof, that's the only place that there'll be an actual conductor going down there to connect to the inverters. That's so great. So now is this something that someone can install themselves or should you have a professional do it? Yeah, we should have a professional. Okay. You know, this product was meant to install real easily, uh -huh. but you have to keep in mind that you are working with a high voltage DC power source right. and uh, it's your roof too. So you want this to last. So right now we're only doing it through authorized installers. We want to make sure that everything is done right so it can last. Totally. All right, so how do we actually install these? Okay. What do you think? Oh, wow, that looks nice. Ron? Awesome job they did. You can't even hardly tell it from down here. I know. Has it, 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 you know, met up to all your expectations? It just blends in with it. I mean, it's like a shingle. It really is, Great. right? Great. Yes. All right, so who wants to draw out the bill for the electric company? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to them. Exactly. So now that you've been through the whole process from start to amazingly quick finish, would you recommend this to friends and neighbors? I would. Everybody I knew. Yeah, I think I will too, by the way. I think they'll be asking. <laughs> So these here are the inverters. This is basically like your in-home power plant that's converting the energy generated from the sun on your roof right here and putting it back into the grid. So the, uh, the DC, the direct current, comes down through here 
and right in here it's converted into AC, the alternating current. And that's what allows you to be right there in the grid using it for your utilities and then also feeding it back into the grid so that you get those credits on your energy bill. So once this is all activated, I don't have to control anything, adjust any controls whatsoever. The whole point of this, it's supposed to be virtually maintenance free. So these inverters do the entire job for you. They turn on in the morning when the sun rises, they start converting that electricity and then at night they power themselves down. It looks really nice. There's nothing I need to do. I can just watch my utility bill go down. Well, I'd call that mission accomplished. We want to thank Josh, Rendon, and Jim from Dow Solar for educating us today about solar power, and also our homeowners, Ron and Michelle. And best of luck to Nancy and her family. We're sure that they'll be able to keep their home decluttered and neat now by using those amazing interdesign organizers. And thank you for watching. If you know anyone in need, whether recovering from a natural disaster or any negative life circumstance, we hope you'll email us. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Operation Build is ready to take on challenging new missions every single day. Until next time, I'm Alexi Panos. <laughs>